Night Tips. Hello and welcome to another Tech by Tips video. In today's video, we're going to be addressing another video request. This one is saying, since Overseer was mentioned, what about Jelly Seer? Great set of videos, helped me a lot. Congrats and thanks. So let's cover this and let's uh, get this going. Jelly Seer, what is Jelly Seer? We go here into github.com slash fallen bagel slash jelly seer we'll see that there is a github repository for the application jelly seer and it says that jelly seer is an open source application for managing requests for your media library so it's basically like overseer and they basically say it here is a fork of overseer but it's built to bring support for jellyfin and mb media servers so that's specifically like a overseer version for jellyfin and since we already covered uh, Jellyfin, we can set this up so that somebody can place requests for media and then it will work pretty much like Overseer. And it says that it has integration with Jellyfin and Beyond Plex and it, it has supports for movies, shows and mixed libraries and it has a, bu a bunch of other features so looks pretty good if you look here at the screenshot it looks kind of similar to what overseer does and it makes sense because it's a fork of overseer and it has a link here to the documentation they have a discord channel for support if you need that and how to submit box and feature requests with github etc so it's pretty nice this application is written in uh, typescript mainly but let's go ahead let's uh, see what the guide says for us to set it up so if we click on the documentation link, then we, we get taken to this website here. And in this website, you have the introduction here that has basic information about it. And then we're going to go into the Docker recommended section here, because that's how we're going to do that in a Synology NAS. And then here, instead of using the Docker CLI command, we're going to go into the Docker compose file, because that's uh, what we're going to be using on 7.2 of the Synology DSM. So let's copy that and then we can go ahead and go into our NAS and set that up. So I'm here in my NAS. First, again, as usual, we're going to go into the projects here. We're going to create a folder here for Jelly Seer. And that's where we're going to be putting our Docker file. And here in the configs, we're going to also create a folder for Jelly Seer. And that's where we're going to put all the configurations. So this is there. Perfect. Now we can go here into the projects, create a new project and say that it's going to be Jelly Seer and we're going to pick that path that we just created which is Docker Projects Jelly Seer and we're going to say that we're going to create a Docker Compose file right here and we paste all of that that we got from the website so we're going fine right now if we see here it says that we're going to be using the Docker Hub image so that's perfect and we're going to be using the latest tag that falls in line with what we normally do i'm going to capitalize this container name so it says jelly seer and additionally now we have here the environment variables here the log level you can specify what you want so let me see if they have any information here about that uh debug is going to give you a lot of logs so if you're having issues that would be the proper way to go yeah i cannot find information on the proper logging levels for this so for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to comment this out i'm not going to leave it unless we actually need it and then here they have a, a sample time zone of asia tashkent but at, that's not what i'm going to use i'm going to say america new york that's the one that corresponds to me and then here the port is optional so i'm going to remove that and then in here it says that the application should be listening on port 5055 so remember this is outside and container so outside we can pick any port that we want let's use 8072 for that and in here then we're going to specify the path to the config folder in our nas so let's go into configs jelly seer get that path and we're going to put that in here so it says that inside the container that should be the app config folder and that's going to be mapped to our nas on that specific folder so that's good and then restart on less stop that's perfect so this should be all that we need to put in here for the application so let's go ahead and click next next and let's see if it builds correctly so let's say done and now we wait for it to pull extract and then build that container i'll be back when that is done all right we have gotten the exit code zero and now the pop-up here letting us know that it was successful 
So let's now monitor to see if the container is running and what we can see in the logs. Starting Overseer version 192. As you can see, they left the name Overseer in there. Okay, looks like no more entries are coming up here in the logs. Let's see if we get an, an user interface at, at the IP of the NAS on port 8072. Okay, I still don't see anything, so let's give it a little bit more time. There we go, we, we see more stuff, so that's creating built-in discovery slider. Okay, so it, it has to do things. It has some jobs that it needs to run, so let's give it more time. Server ready, all right. Server ready on port 5055, so that's the container port. So now let's go back into the website IP, reload, and see what we get. So that'll be IP of the NAS, port 8072 in my case, and here we go, we see Jelly Seer. And it is time to start configuring the application. And here's the main change from what we did with Overseer before is we have the option here to use Plex to log in to our account, just like we did with Overseer. But in this case, remember, we're using Jelly Seer because we're using, in this case, Jellyfin, right? So in this case, we would not use that. We would click here where it says use your Jellyfin account. And then we would log in using our Jellyfin information. So in this case, we have to put the URL of Jellyfin, and in my case, it was the IP of the NAS, but it was on port 8073. And then the email address, you put your email address here, let me put me at me.me. And then here would be the username. So in this case, let's say Jelly, I'm sorry, Jellyfin, not Jelly Seer. So now we click sign in, and then it should authenticate against Jellyfin and use that as the media server for Jelly Seer. So this is a little bit slow when it sets itself up, so you have to give it time. We'll be back when that's completed. And here we go, it has moved us into the next step of the process, which is our libraries from Jellyfin. So if we click here on Sync Libraries, it's gonna connect to the Jellyfin server and see what libraries we have configured in there so that then we can actually import those and scan them and manage them using the Jelly Seer application. Again, it's a little slow, but just give it time and it'll eventually populate all the libraries that you have configured in your Jellyfin instance and they will show up in here. And as you can see, now I have the three libraries that I had created in Jellyfin, the one for anime, so I'm gonna enable that. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna give it time to do its thing and wait for it to settle. Again, this application is a little slow, so just be patient. Don't try to do things too fast. Okay, it seems to it should have changed, but the update to the user interface takes a little bit of time. There you go, you see it? So you do the same here for movies and TV. So you click it, wait for it to do its thing, wait for it to finally toggle, and then we go to the next one and do that. All right, did you change anytime soon? There we go. And now we can do a scan of the, th the three libraries that we have selected here. So then it's just gonna do a quick connection to the Jellyfin server and kind of scan what we have in those libraries for this server to know what our content actually is right now. So let's come back after that's done. All right, it has finished scanning. So now I can click on continue here. And then it's gonna ask us for the radar on the sonar settings so that we can connect Jelly Seer to those applications. Remember, we're placing requests here, so whenever we request something, it should be able to connect into Radar or Sonar and let it know, okay, this is what you need to download because this was requested. So let's click here on Add Radar. We'll mark this as the default. I'm gonna name this Radar, and I'm gonna put the IP of the NAS, and then in my case, Radar is on port 8083, according to my videos. And now I need to get that API key. So I'm gonna go into radar, we go into settings, and then from settings we go to general, and then here's the API key. So we copy that and we put it here. And then now that we have that, we should be able to test the connection to the instance. And that's gonna populate the options here for the quality profile, root folder, and all of that. So give it a little bit of time. Again, this application is a little slow, and then we'll be back when that is done. And here we go, it has finished populating all that, so we can pick our quality. Let's say I want my movies in 1080, and I'm gonna pick the movies folder that I have specified in my radar instance, and then I want it to start searching for stuff as soon as it's announced. And then we can enable the scan here, and then I'm gonna say add the server. It's gonna eventually show up here as another square, you see? And now we have to do the same for sonar. 
So Sonar, I mark it as my default server. I name it Sonar. I put the IP on my NAS. My, I, my port for Sonar is 8082. And then we need the API key for that. So we go into settings, general, and then we go and copy this API key, put that in here. And now we need to test the connection so we can populate all of these drop downs that we have available here. So let's give it time, be back when that is done. All right, it is done. So now for the TV series here, we have the option to specify what type it is. It's standard in my case. And the quality profile that I want for my TV is 720. And then what's the root folder for TV is this one. And I wanted to pull stuff in English. Then we do the same for the anime, but in the anime, I'm gonna pick anime as a type. And then for the quality profile, 720 is fine for me. Then I pick the anime folder that I specified in Sonar and English as a language. And then I can say, put the season folders there too and enable the scan. And that looks good. So we can add this server. Then it's gonna put it here as a new box. Everything is looking good. So we can click on finish setup. And then we're gonna wait for the application to load, finish its setup and give us the basic home user interface of the application, which is what is loading right now. And as you can see, this application is basically a copy paste of uh, Overseer. It works exactly the same as Overseer. The only difference is that we have the ability to connect to not only Plex, but also MB and Jellyfin. And we set that up right now, like we just did in the setup. So if you wanted to connect to Jellyfin, that's it. That's all the configuration that you needed. What we just did. The rest of the settings, you can find them here in the settings. I'm not gonna cover them because I've already covered this in the Overseer video. If you're interested in seeing more about the settings, you can do that by going into that video. But basically this is the same. You have your user and then you have suggestions here. Here's the information that, of stuff that was added to my library in Jellyfin. As you can see, the three things that I added in the previous video. And in here we have suggestions of things that are trending so this is in, in this case for series. No, this is actually movies, sorry. And then here's popular movies and there's your movie genre. So there's a way, a bunch of ways for you to filter for things. Here it shows you the movies that are gonna be coming up soon. And if you're interested specifically in one studio or company that produces that, you can click here and then it's gonna give you everything related to that. So it's exactly like Overseer. And it's gonna do the same for popular series and that includes anime too. So it's the same popular and then by genre and then things that are coming up and then you can filter by the creators of that, like either a network or a platform, right? And it works like that. If you like something, you click here where it says request, it's gonna place that request, it's gonna send that request uh, depending on what kind of content it is. If it's movies to radar, if it's TV or anime to sonar, and that's how you place requests. You can create users, you can set rules on whether you want a person's request to automatically be approved or if they need to be approved by you as the owner of the instance. So there's a lot of those things that are already covered in the Overseer video. So you can go back into that one to get all those details. This is the important part, getting the application going, configuring it properly and making sure that you get access to the application and that is done successfully. So that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you liked the video. I hope you find it useful, especially the person that requested it. And remember, if you like the content, please uh, hit the like button in, on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have, you have not done so because that helps me to focus on the channel. It allows us to grow and it allows us to focus on the channel. Remember also, I do not monetize this channel. You should not see any ads on my videos. And I rely entirely on your support. So if you like my content and you want to help me to continue creating content like this, help you out on this kind of issues that you might have or any questions that you have on technical aspects, cover applications that you might be interested in, I'll gladly do so. You can also comment for things that you would like to see in the description below under the video. I always comment to people, I always reply as soon as possible. And I always look at your requests and I put them in the queue and then I make up videos for those. So that's gonna be it for this one. See you in the next one.